All right, so what about dose tracking software? We talked about a lot of other approaches. Dose tracking software is probably what, uh, you know, the, the majority of this talk you thought my, my, it would be about. Um, dose tracking software, I'm going to use DTS for that. It enables retrospective alerts and email notifications. I say retrospective because it's after the patient was scanned. It can be almost real time. You know, it can be, you might get an email within minutes of scanning a patient. Uh, alerts are often more flexible. You can set, depending on your software, you can set up values that are based on patient size, different ages. You can set up your own protocol mappings. You have a lot of options. That's a really nice feature. And you get enhanced visibility. That's actually probably the biggest feature for me, is if I'm a manager, I want to be able to see that data, and this gives me a good way to do it. Uh, I'm sure what's on a lot of people's minds if you're looking at dose tracking software is which software should you get? That's probably the most common question that, that I'm asked. And uh, you know, if you're expecting me to answer that today, then you're going to be disappointed. Um, here's what I had to say about that. All the software can be used to meet the Joint Commission standard. Okay? Every single piece of software I've worked with can be, can be used for. So I don't think that that's going to become your determining factor in the software you purchase. It's going to be other features. It's going to be you know, how easy is it for your staff to use that, that software. Um, do you like the way they present the data? Are there features you like, like organ dose estimates, or you know, um, being able to see where you scan and did you, did you go outside the localizer, things like that. So it's probably going to be some of the other features that really determine which software you look at. Of course, pricing will also play into that, that thought process. Uh, just some, some, some more practical advice on this. A lot of the way people set up the alerts when you get a dose tracking software is you, um, you map protocols to what, you know, some sort of protocol mapping, whether it's using the Radlex playbook or creating your own. And then you go in for each one of those entries and create a specific value for that protocol. This creates a little bit of a problem because what I've seen happen time and time again is those mappings get broken because you had an upgrade to your scanner, you changed your protocol names, or you don't even know what happened. It was fine last month, but now this month your protocol map, you know, your protocols aren't mapped anymore. If you're relying on that protocol mapping for your, your expected dose index ranges, then you're potentially setting your, yourself up for a problem where you might have patients that are going unmonitored. So it's OK to do that, but you should always have some sort of safety net, something that applies to all patients, regardless of whether your protocol is mapped or not. So that would be my, my recommendation there. And uh, you know, I'm just going to give a few examples. In Radometrics, there's something called um, a default exam, DRL, that you can set up that applies to all patients. In DoseWatch, they have a similar feature. It's called DRLs. You can go in and you can set values, and you can choose what studies it applies to and which ones it doesn't. Um, using you know, uh, Nexodose, you can, again, you can select all protocols or select some. So every single one of them has some way to handle this. They're all a little bit different. But I, you, know, you should look into a method that applies to all protocols. Uh, so which method should you use? We talked about a bunch of different ways to do this. And In the U.S., there are over 200 court cases per year of radiation-induced skin injury. Our clients have compliance demand from many organizations, and now they have more clients and no more budget, so they have to do a lot with less. Current dose management solutions don't meet all compliance requirements. They're very complex, and some hospitals get 300 alerts per month, and many of those alerts are false. That makes radiation dose compliance very stressful for many hospitals. Lander Optimize is a next generation solution for radiation dose management. We are an end-to-end -end solution that helps clients get more insights, serve more patients, and meet all compliance requirements. We collect data from your imaging equipment. We use neural networks to automatically map your protocols. We use artificial intelligence to detect outliers. We also compare your data to national benchmarks and we also have a team of physicists that are daily monitoring your exams to make sure that you always stay compliant. Our solution helps you get better patient outcomes, more satisfied patients, 
happier doctors, and less malpractice claims. You take care of the patients. Let our team of experts take care of you.